I can't speak to it. Nadi Lee, Blind Days, 10 guys. Only 14 minutes. Let's get it. Hi everyone, be one. my name is Nadine, and Nadine. you may have seen me from Netflix, Singles Inferno 2, <laughs> and yeah, I'm a student, or not anymore, I just graduated. I went to Harvard congrats, College, congrats. and Sheesh. I studied neuroscience, and I have a secondary in computer science. I would love a man who's loyal. <laughs> it's hard to ask for these days. <laughs> it's rough out here. You have to be a little tall. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty tall. I do like the whole like mysterious cold bad boy vibes, but that gets kind of old quick So I like somebody who's very just loving and has good kind energy I'm here to possibly find a match for the second time <laughs> One two three three Oh my god <laughs> Hi <laughs> They always sit there like, uh... We can just go down the line. Alright, uh, Nadine, well, if I were to take you on a first date, I would take you to the mall. I love going to the mall, I'm not gonna lie. And it's kind of cool because I get to see what your interests are. So we go to different stores, we go get some food. I love Japanese food, I'm half Japanese myself. So like, udon, ramen, sushi, that's the way to go. I would love- Japanese food is- Got like 10 out of 10, no cast. Go to the beach, go on a walk, and uh, beach is crazy. That, first day, that's wild. Everyone, get some sushi there. I just love everyone's the best sushi. I'd say the best first date would probably be like mini golf. It's pretty fun. I think it's very like it's a good space to be sociable. And then there's also that little competitive edge that would make it kind of fun. I love mini golf. Everybody loves mini golf because I am quite competitive. Griffith Park has like horseback riding, so I think we could uh, go on a horseback ride. And uh, afterwards, we could go for a drive on the uh, Mulholland Drive because that's like the spot where you can overlook the city. Mulholland Drive. Yeah, I'll just take you to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can tell a lot about a person by like what they order. So if they get chicken nuggets, um, I think that's honestly a queen right there. Oh my God. Big Mac, you're basic. Um, and then we could go to the playhouse and then we could play hide and go seek. <laughs> I mean, I love McDonald's, but I don't know for a first date. And I would get a Big Mac, so. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. I was joking. It was <laughs> we actually go to Wendy's? <laughs> Start out with, you know, you know, dining at a nice restaurant, right? And then, you know, finding a place to walk around, talk a little bit there, and maybe get some dessert. Yeah, Restaurants are basic. Not for the first, first date. date. You know, and it just depends how it goes, how we vibe, and then move on to the second date. I would want to go to like a pottery class. Not for the first date. That way, like, and we can like have something to take home and remember the first date. I like the ceramics idea. <laughs> um, I think it will be really cute, and I think it's really thoughtful that you could, you know, make something together, and it's like a memory. We can go to the beach, get some acai bowls, light up some candles, put on some R and B, might get up and maybe pressure you into doing a little salsa, you know, or something Ooh. like. <laughs> what the hell? Getting married, so it's kind of like. <laughs> I'm not messing around no more, and I'm just looking for a wife instead of a, a little girl. No offense. Oh. oh. But, um, I would definitely take you to a park um, and have a little picnic. I could definitely take pictures of you. Uh, <laughs> take pictures on Instagram. We can do a number of things depending on what you like. I can take you thrift shopping, and we can pick each other's outfits out. Or That's we can go go karting and then get dinner, maybe catch a movie. I'm still in so that. It's really up to you. Four, I feel so wow. bad, but number two, Damn. I don't really remember his answer. Wow. We got this, bro. Hi, uh, nice to on. meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Ricardo. Oh, I'm yeah. Nadine. So sorry. That was more yeah. awkward than I thought. That shit was awkward. Oh, God. Number three, I'm sorry. Wait, the McDonald's guy's staying? There's no way. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Sorry to work out. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Bye. Number three again. The no. McDonald's. I mean, it was funny. Not the McDonald's I guy. I again, and it was not that funny, so. We could have been something. Nice to meet you. I'm Nick. I'm Nadine. I'm gonna leave now. Okay. That's crazy, bro. So my dad's guys, the guy you go to. Bye. 
<laughs> five. The reason why is because the, the little girl, girl, girl comments. comments. Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're so cute. Hola. You're tall. You nice to meet you. Oh. I love your nails, by the way. Oh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> that was so raw. <laughs> like, really raw. Damn, bro. So Four I the first round? I just graduated from Harvard College, and Sheesh. on the show, there was like a campfire scene where I like reveal it, and it became like a funny moment in the show. How about the Harvard? I'm not going to be able to do that. I got to watch the show. <laughs> So, number one, what is something that I may not know about you just based on the way you look? Okay, we'll be, we'll be vulnerable today. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Things. The first Damn. thing is that when people look at me, they don't think I am a PhD student. For one, I look very young. I don't age at all, which is pretty awesome. Um, That's lit. The second thing is that I'm very insecure, actually. Uh, and lastly, uh, I have no riz. <laughs> I just talk so directly. I don't. I don't no riz kind of equals dance. no like, lines. Oh, hey, what's going on? Let's just like, hey, you're beautiful. What's your name? I want to dance with you. Those are like, honestly, my three. Very relatable. When you first look at me, I look a little intimidating sometimes. I think I've also been told I have a very punchable face. <laughs> that's wild. Uh, that is, that's, that's kind of true. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, 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 wait. <laughs> we can test that out. <laughs> yeah, I guess the one thing that surprises people, uh, you know, I'm in my late 20s. I've, I've only been in one relationship. Just because I've been socially challenged. But you know I, I respect I it. overcome those challenges. And Everybody overcomes challenges in life. And now I'm here shooting my shot with uh, Nadine. So. People my age usually, when they hear that the person that they're interested in maybe doesn't have too much experience, it could be like a turnoff. But for me, it's actually the opposite. I actually admire people who are not serial daters one thing you want to do i would crazy. say i'm very shy i remember wild the first day of first grade i made my grandma come with me to school for the whole day which is a little embarrassing as i grew older i tried to make new friends but yeah in the past i was definitely the opposite and even now like going on the show is pretty grandma is crazy bro your grandma the whole day of school like, is insane opportunity very eloquent <laughs> very good at you know, expressing yourself and going to class with your grandma is so cute. I would love to take my grandma. Yeah, she had a great time. Yeah, don't be embarrassed about it. Yeah. Uh, I'm very much of a homebody. I try not to go out as much and I stay this. home and spend time with family. I'm a very family-oriented kind of guy. What do you spend the most time doing? At home? Um, I like to watch movies. What genre? Uh, rom coms, like um, Crazy Rich Asians. Mm. I think mm. it's honestly one of the best movies. Yeah, uh, I'm also a homebody, so I'll be in my apartment blasting music and dancing, and I'm also really awkward. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like, I don't know what to do with my hands, so I think when people like, first see me, I don't, they don't really get that I'm really awkward i think i'm like super awkward as well like same with my you're just gonna hold show like just doing random stuff elimination um, i think the first person i will eliminate is two um, oh sorry. punchable face <laughs> at first you know he was very charming and kind of interesting because That's he wild. was very different and funny but <laughs> hi <laughs> Sorry, I'm Nadine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, punchable face is not really the best. Yeah, you don't have a <laughs> you don't have a punchable face. Yeah, you have Thank a you. very nice face. Thank you. That's very I don't know who would say that to you. But... <laughs> You'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> um, next is number four. I could feel how genuine he was, but I'm not a super homebody person. I love oh, exploring crazy. and going out. Hi. Hi. Oh my God, you're so cute. <laughs> Josh. You're my first hug. Uh, you're tall. Yeah. I'm wearing heels, but... It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Similar That's reason, crazy. but number four. Yeah. Damn. Sorry. It's the homebody. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're so handsome. Oh, thank you. You're very you beautiful. You smell nice. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. You, this is amazing. Oh, wow. thank you. You look too good. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. He shot the shot even after he left. They're so hot. Great man. All of that. <laughs> Great man. Great impression. First question I have: What's your happiest childhood memory? My dad would take me to the park. Um, there's this huge ramp, and my dad and I 
Uh, he had a bike that I was always in the passenger seat behind. And all, every time he would go down as fast as he could to terrify me. And I would be so scared that, Dad, no way, time out, time out, time out. Um, but, you know, he, he got me through every single time I never crashed. And as weird as it sounds, like that's one of my biggest bonding moments with my father. I feel the same way about my mom. I want to be her. She's been such an inspiration. So that's really cute. You know, the fifth okay, grade, number one. I'm going to do this school field trip, you know, to Lake Arrowhead. So it's like my first time, you know, ever going out. For me, that was like, like a whole new world to me. We got to try and all these like, like, cool things. These people and, live in fucking Cali. Really what the fuck is soon. Lake Arrowhead? When I was younger, I was very, well, I still am, but I was very close to my Cali. grandma and Jesus Christ. And when we'd go to church every Sunday, I was so attached to her that I would like hold on to the tail of her dress and I would like crinkle it. And I felt so bad now that I'm older, but I just didn't want to leave her side. And then, I expect like, up, I would like cook with her. Grandmas are the best. Totally ruined some dishes. Especially Spanish grandmas, so Puerto Rican grandmas. Now, like when I'm older, like I've they're the best. Seen that's really important to like have a connection with your older relatives, especially because like they aren't getting any younger. Yeah, I'm super Damn. close to my grandma as well. She's like this tall. <laughs> She's so cute. I mean, in Asian culture, like respect your elders is like a huge thing. So we good thing in Hispanic sing. culture. Yeah, nice. Use on that. <laughs> what? are your three greatest accomplishments and also what are three things you're trying to work on oh, oh my god <laughs> uh, dude, that's a good question time to think about it that's okay we're here all day long oh god oh, oh my god. god three things that i'm most proud of my relationship with my mom and sister and the reason why i'm proud of it is because i went through a lot of hardship and yeah it wasn't easy <laughs> second thing is definitely my determination career-wise but also with my friendships and relationships the third one would be my sense of fashion um i like to play around with fashion i kind of a better sense about you so i really appreciate it thank you for asking Whenever I consider dating someone, I, I tend to look at, you know, where they're at in life. Mm -hmm. um, so, where do you see yourself in five years? I would definitely be busy. That's like a, that's like a grad interview school, question. Whether it be med school or, you know, another path. I'm definitely a career woman, but I do see marriage probably like early 30s. Cool, thanks for sharing. What's the next thing on your list that you want to do that'll push you out of your comfort zone and is something you're looking forward to? Oh, Even like that's going a great on question. that Netflix show was like something that I wanted to try. That's crazy. It was super new. So I want to embrace I want to be on a Netflix show. Crazy side of me that comes Netflix out hire me. And, you know, with the people I love. Hire me now. Travel more. Um, go out more. <laughs> date more, hopefully. Wow. <laughs> so yeah. Um, the first person I would like to eliminate Number three. for round three is number one. Oh, that's wild. I loved all of his answers, but I think in terms of like, Tiki Taka ga yongoru boji. Banter. I don't think it will match with me. That's crazy. Hi. Good, how are you? Oh my gosh, your hair is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're beautiful. So oh, thank you. Whoever you pick. Mm -hmm. Muy bueno, muy oh, bueno. thank you. But nice meeting you, okay? Oh, yeah, nice to meet you. So nice, bro. So nice. Was that a wrong choice? <laughs> it was so nice. I think the second elimination. Um, bro, what shirt? Number three. I knew it. Oh, sorry, number two. Oh. 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 Why? Oh. Why? Oh. His answers again were just definitely the most eloquent. Wasn't be twins? But I think I'm very practical and logical. Maybe there will be a gap in terms of communication. <laughs> Hi, sorry. No, it's okay. You're so good. nice, yeah. amazing. Congrats on I got meeting Harvard and everything. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he's excited to meet me, but <laughs> we'll see. All right, so now ready? ready? Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Dion. It's crazy. I'm the Dean. You look great, by the way. Oh, thank you. I love your my hair. hair yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm a little nervous, but well, don't be. I'm. I'm nice I was nervous too. How do you feel? Really? How do I feel? It's kind of crazy. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of a, uh, a blur, but I'm excited that she, you know she chose me. I liked how, again, practical his questions were. His answers were not too long. They were concise, and 
I'm very much kind of like that. I thought we could vibe and yeah, yeah, so get too. to know each other. <laughs> what would a first date look like? Nothing too activity based. First date, you know, we just we just eat at a restaurant, maybe walk around, get some desserts, and just talk. I mean, that's my ideal for. I didn't say this earlier, but for me, it's just going.